Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Murli of the 28th of December, 2014. It has been revised from the 31st of December, 1998. The title is On the Basis of Your Courage Become Free from Having to Labor and experience yourself to be victorious. On the basis of your courage, on the basis of your himmat, become free from having to labor, become mehnat mukt, and experience yourself to be victorious. Today, Bab Dada, the creator of the new age, has come to give greetings to his extremely loving, constantly cooperative and very close children for the new year. He has come to give greetings to his Snehi, Sadasa Yogi, Samip children. For the new year, for the new age and new life. The children everywhere who are keeping Bap Dada personally in their hearts with a lot of love, are receiving greetings from him. Bab Dada is pleased to see the children's zeal and enthusiasm for the new year. The majority of you children, whether you are sitting far away or close, all have the zeal and enthusiasm in your mind, definitely to bring about some newness this year whether in terms of transformation of the self, or in terms of success and service, or in terms of transforming others with your good wishes and pure feelings, the zeal and enthusiasm all of you have is very good. Together with this, you also have courage according to your capacity. Bab Dada definitely gives multi-million fold help in return for one thought of such courageous children. Therefore, constantly continue to move forward with courage. Don't allow your courage to diminish, whether for yourself or for others, because this new age is for flying with your courage. This year has been blessed and this is the age and this age is the most auspicious confluence age. It is the age when you are given all powers as your inheritance directly by the bestower. Therefore, constantly keep the importance of this age in your awareness. Before you begin any task, whether in terms of your own efforts or in terms of world service, you constantly have the faith that with your courage and Bab Dada's help, your success is guaranteed. In both your own efforts and in service, there has to be success. The impossible has to become possible because this age is the age of success. It is the age for the impossible to become possible. Therefore, for you, Brahmin souls, there is no question in this age as to whether something will happen or not, or how it will happen. It is written in the horoscope of you, Brahmins, that success is your birthright. You souls who have all rights do not need to think about these things. You are definitely going to receive your inheritance. Therefore, in the new year, especially let the awareness emerge that success is the right of you elevated Brahmin souls in all aspects. Continue to fly with this faith and with spiritual intoxication, not intoxication filled with arrogance, but spiritual intoxication. Those who have faith in their intellects are constantly victorious in every task they perform. The line of fortune of victory 
is constantly seen on the foreheads of Brahmin souls who have faith in their intellects. The tilak of victory is constantly visible, sparkling on their foreheads. This is why you must continue to experience this year as the year of constant victory. Do you have such faith and intoxication? Do you double foreigners have this? Double foreigners are clever. They all wave their hands. Very good. Your tilaks are visible. The people from Bharat too are also fortunate. Why? Because the land of Bharat is very fortunate. Therefore, whether you are foreigners or those from Bharat, all are the children of the bestower and so every Brahmin child is victorious. Simply allow your courage to emerge. You do have courage in you because you are master almighty authorities. Are you this? All were waving their hands. You are all waving your hands very well. Now, constantly continue to wave your hands of courage, even in your minds. Bab Dada is pleased and proud that every child of his is victorious many times. You souls are not just victorious ones, but you are victorious souls many times. Never think, I don't know what will happen. Don't use the words, what will happen. You are victorious and will always be victorious. Is this firm for all of you? Very good. Now, when you return home, don't write any weak news or say, Dadi, Baba, Maya has come. Don't write such letters. You are conquerors of Maya. If you are not this, then who else would be? Let this spiritual intoxication emerge. When your mind and intellect become busy in other matters, your intoxication becomes merged. However, you should check every now and then to see whether you have the spiritual intoxication of victory whilst you are doing things. If you have faith, you definitely have this intoxication. The sign of faith is intoxication and if you have intoxication, then you definitely do have faith. The two are interconnected. Therefore, now, in this year, 1999, Constantly let your intoxication emerge and you will become free from making mistakes. Neither will you make mistakes nor will you have to labor. Bab Tada has already told you that he doesn't like to see you children laboring or battling. So, how are you going to celebrate this new year? You have celebrated the year of liberation. You have put an end to all negativity and waste. Therefore, this year will automatically become the year that is free from laboring. All of you souls are those who experience pleasure. You are not those who have to labor. Do you enjoy having pleasure in your lives or do you like to labor? You enjoy having a life of pleasure, do you not? So this year, become free from having to labor even in the thoughts of your mind. Bab Tada has received many letters and notes from children conveying the news of how they have very good courage. They have been saying that from now, they will definitely come into the rosary of 108, plenty of letters, of very good zeal and enthusiasm have also come. Even in their heart-to-heart -heart conversations, many have been giving Bab Dada very good news of their faith and courage. Bab Dada replies to such children, Baba has put a full stop to all the past 
of all of your children. You must now, therefore, stop thinking of your past. You have remained courageous up to now, and so continue to move forward with your courage and Baba's help. Whether it is the children from abroad or those from this land, you have written of how your enthusiasm for the new year is very good. Bab Tada gives such children the blessing. With this courage, faith and intoxication, may you remain immortal. You will remain immortal, will you not? Will you double foreigners remain immortal? Will you people from Bharat remain immortal? Those from Bharat should definitely claim a number. How do people celebrate the new year? Firstly, they give gifts. And secondly, they give greetings. All of you eat and share sweets and also sing and dance a great deal. You Brahmin children would not just celebrate the new year for one day after midnight because for you Brahmin children, every moment of this new age is a new moment. Every breath is new and every thought is new. Therefore, constantly continue to distribute the Dil Kush Toli to one another throughout the year. Not just for one day, one week, one month, four months, or eight months, but for the whole twelve months. You will distribute it, will you not? Do you know how to distribute the Dil Kush Toli? All of you are very clever, and so continue to distribute the Dil Kush Toli. When some, because of their natures, sanskars, or problems, won't accept your Dil Kush Toli, you mustn't become disheartened. You distributed it, and your chart of obedience was recorded with Bhaktada. Don't be concerned about someone who became upset, even though you gave that one Dil Kush Toli. It doesn't matter. That one doesn't understand the secret, and he therefore became upset. However, you know all the secrets. Therefore, also understand the secret of how that person is under the influence of his karmic accounts or some other problem. You should just continue to be obedient. Is this okay? You wish to become obedient, do you not? You are saying yes very well here. If you could see yourselves from here, you would see yourselves waving your hands very well. By waving your hands, you make Baba very happy. And you are also nodding in agreement and waving your hands. However, Bhaktada is always pleased with all his children. Once he has said to you, My child, then whoever you are and whatever you are, the father is definitely pleased to see you. The father has promised that no matter how, he is definitely going to make you worthy and take you back with him. Do you wish to return with him? Are you ready to return with him? Are all of you ready? Are you ever ready? Acha, you are ever ready. Very good. Are you ever happy? So, if Maya comes, then what? Will you cry a little in your mind and then say, Baba, Maya came. She came. Don't cry, but make yourself fly and Maya will remain beneath you. When you fly up above, Maya will continue to watch you from down below. Acha, you must continue to dance in happiness and continue to distribute Dilkush Toli. You should give whoever comes into contact with you one or another gift. No one should return from you empty-handed. 
What gift will you give them? You have many gifts. Do you have a stock of gifts? Don't be miserly about giving these gifts. Continue to give them. Be generous hearted. Cooperate by giving someone power. Give someone the vibrations of power. Give someone a gift of some virtue. Not through your lips, but give it through your face and behavior. Perhaps no virtue or power has emerged in you, but there is at least a small gift you can give them. What is that gift? That of good wishes and pure feelings. Have the good wishes that that one is your long lost and now found brother or sister. When you consider someone to be long lost and now found, your bad wishes will then become good wishes. Have the pure wish that that brother or sister will also have a part in the flying stage. For this, together with your good wishes, you also have to give them cooperation. Some children say that they do give good wishes, but that the other person won't take them. Okay, they may not take your good wishes, but they are giving you something, are they not? They may be giving you their impure words or impure vibrations or perhaps behaving negatively towards you. But you must remember who you are. What is your occupation? Are you world transformers? What is your business? Is it that of a world transformer? It is that of a world transformer, is it not? Since you are able to transform the world, then if someone has said something wrong to you or behaved wrongly with you, can you not transform that one? Are you not able to bring about some positive transformation? Are you going to take something negative as negative? Or will you transform the negative into positive and give everyone the gift of good wishes and pure feelings? Constantly keep a stock of all the good wishes you have accumulated. Simply give some of these to others and bring about transformation in them and then your title of a world transformer will continue to be used in a practical way. Also understand very firmly that those who transform others by putting their task of world transformation into practice in the corporeal form are guaranteed a right to a kingdom for 21 births. Perhaps you just sit on the throne for one birth, but in every other birth you will be in close relationship with souls of the royal family and those who have a right to the kingdom. So only world transformers are able to claim a right to the kingdom of the world. Therefore, constantly remember this occupation of yours. It is your duty to bring about transformation. You are the children of the bestower and so you must continue to bestow as bestowers. Only then will you not have to give anyone anything physically with your hands in the future for everyone in your kingdom will be constantly overflowing. This is your reward of being a bestower at this time. Therefore, don't stop to count so many times what that one did or what someone else did. Become a master bestower and continue to give gifts. What greetings are you going to give? Whenever someone attains something from another, the words coming from his lips and mind are like greetings for you. When you distribute happiness to one another, you share those greetings. When you celebrate a festival, you give congratulations. Whenever someone comes in front of you, you should speak such words 
and have such elevated thoughts in your mind that he would definitely give you greetings and blessings from his heart. So, constantly speak such words and constantly interact with others in such a way that they all give you greetings and blessings from their hearts again and again. Don't speak words that are not worthy of greetings, not worthy of thanks. Each word you speak should be like a jewel. They should not be ordinary words. The result Bab Dada has seen up to now has been like that. Tomorrow it will change, but up to now the love and discipline that should be in your words have been lacking. Therefore, Speak words that are like jewels. Since you yourselves are as valuable as diamonds, every word you speak should be like a jewel. They should be very precious. They should not be ordinary, neither ordinary nor wasteful. Sometimes, Bab Dada sees, should he tell you the results? Because after midnight, Everything has to finish. Bab Tada also saw that some children expand trivial matters a great deal. What happens is that when someone speaks a great deal, it is just like when a tree grows, the seed disappears. When they talk too much in this way, they think that they are expanding on something in order to clarify it so that others can understand. However, the essence of whatever they are trying to make clear for others becomes hidden in that expansion. There is energy of words and speech. When your words are wasteful, your energy of speech is reduced. Even the energy of the brains of those who speak too much is reduced. Remember the two words, short and sweet. When others relate such things, you tell them that you don't have enough time to listen to all of that. But when you, yourself, are relating something, you forget about that. Therefore, accumulate a stock of your treasures. Accumulate your treasure of thoughts. Accumulate your treasure of words. Accumulate your treasures of all powers. Accumulate your treasure of time. Accumulate your treasure of virtues. Every night, check your savings account of this treasure. How many thoughts did you accumulate in your account of best instead of wasting them? How much time did you accumulate in your account of best? Did you perform elevated tasks through your virtues and powers? Did you use your virtues? Did you use your powers? This is what it means to accumulate. So, every night, check your account of your thoughts, time, virtues and powers and then total up how much you saved in your account. These savings will help you and also help others. Do you understand what you have to do? All of you ask what you should do. So, this is what you have to do now. You have received greetings and also have been given a gift. You have to accumulate and also let go of laboring. When you pay attention to your savings, you will not have to labor. Celebrate this year with a lot of splendor as the year of being free from laboring. You celebrated the year of being free from anything wasteful and negative. Bab Dada is not asking you for the result of the year of liberation now because Bab Dada remembers. Baba will ask for the result of how many of you celebrated the whole year 
as the year of liberation and how many of you celebrated it for only a month? Did you celebrate it for six months? Did you celebrate half the year? Did you celebrate it fully? Baba will check the result on the 18th. Double foreigners have celebrated it very well. Those from Bharat have also celebrated this year. But Baba will ask for the result on the 18th. What will Baba give those who celebrated the whole year? Dadi should say, What those who celebrated the whole year as the year of liberation should be given? Of course, there are the greetings and blessings, but what memorial will be given? Keep a prize ready. We shall see how many claim a prize. So, in the new year, there is new zeal, new enthusiasm, and new courage. Everything is new. Whatever your stage is at this moment, the next moment, it should be more elevated than what it was. Is this okay? Acha. Mithe mithe sikil de bacho prati maat pita baap dada ka yaad pyar or good morning. Ruhani baap ki ruhani bacho ko namaste. Ruhani bacho ki ruhani baap ko namaste. The spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. The blessing for today is, May you be a deity of happiness, an embodiment of happiness, who imbibes the virtue of humility and gives happiness to everyone. May you be a deity of happiness, may you be a Sukh Deva, an embodiment of happiness, Sukh Swaru, who imbibes the virtue of humility and gives happiness, gives a sukh to everyone. The explanation is, the sign of you great souls is humility. The nishani of you great souls is dirmanta. To the extent that you are humble, accordingly, you will receive respect from everyone. Those who are humble, Give happiness to everyone. Wherever they go and whatever they do, they would be bestowers of happiness. They would be Sukhdai. So, whoever comes into a relationship or connection with you should experience happiness. This is why there is the praise of Brahmin souls, children of the ocean of happiness, children of Sukhke Sagar, are embodiments of happiness, are Sukh Swarup, are deities of happiness, are Sukh Deva. So, continue to give everyone happiness and receive happiness. If someone tries to give you sorrow, do not take it. The slogan is, the greatest knowledgeable souls are those who remain soul conscious. The greatest knowledgeable souls are those who remain Soul Conscious Om Shanti